Hey, real estate agents, welcome to the Weekly Closer. I'm your host, Jeff Underwood, along with my co-host, Joey Sampaga. Better known as the man with the plan. How are you doing today, Yo, Joey? yo, yo. You doing good? I'm doing good. I'm just looking at your Cardinals hat. Yes. You getting all psyched up and ready? I am. I'm sorry. Kyle Murray. Oh, ouch, yes. ouch. we got a wonderful guest with us today. <laughs> <laughs> Martha Andrews, Excel Real Estate Group with Keller Williams, Arizona Realty. Thank you so hey. much for joining us. A pleasure to be here. Thank you for having me. How are things? Me. Good. good, really good. It's heating up out there. It is. Today's not so bad. No? No. All right. It's just a hundred. Right. <laughs> it's just a hundred. Just a hundred. <laughs> well, why don't we start with you introducing yourself to the agents that are watching and listening. Um, how long you've been in the business and what got you into real estate? Okay. Um, been in the business six and a half years, but my degree was in business with emphasis in real estate. So um, right out of school, I started with the largest real estate company in the world, Trammell Crow Company out of oh, Dallas, okay. Texas. And um, I was in the marketing department of their property management. So it was marketing, and we built and managed luxury apartments all over the country. Got so it. I really got great experience. I did a lot of training. Um, I would hire the staffs, teach them how to sell. Yeah. And um, they all had licenses, but I didn't. So after, I guess, flash forward 25 years and raising four kids, decided that um, I knew I had a knack for sales and that I would get into the business. Wow. Yeah. Here you are. Here I am. Rocking and rolling. I know. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Absolutely. No, it's not funny. And we want to thank Jackie for bringing you in, right? Yes. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Title. Yeah. She's back in the corner. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so you have, I know, a luxury focus, right? Right, right. Um, but you have some really specific niches, too. I do. And so I want, I want you to expand on those a little bit because you mentioned uh, physician relocation. Yes. Which is sounds pretty cool yes so tell us about that well um when i first started in this business i realized i better do what i know um, my husband's a physician here with mayo clinic and so that's basically who i hung out with were yeah. physician wives and and i saw that there was a real need for when physicians would come to town um someone that had been there before even straight out of residency the things we did um changing practices, someone that maybe kind of understood what they were going through. So that's where I thought I would start my business. And um, it was also my database, basically. Those were the people I had in my yeah. in my phone contacts. Right. And so I, I thought there was a real need for it. And um, from that point, uh, Abrazo Health, Tenant Health, brought me in to be their physician relocation person. And uh, they were doing a lot of growth. And so it kind of bloomed from there. Now, you know, we have f really fantastic doctors that come and interview. Sometimes they don't choose to come to Arizona. Sure. But I am the one I want to put my best foot forward so that when they're done after touring neighborhoods, they have a really positive feeling about Arizona. And yeah, that if they sure. can, that they will move here. Awesome. Yeah. So I can, I can imagine, so when somebody closes with you, right, do you get... You give them like some scrubs that are maybe <laughs> have your contact information on them. No, <laughs> no, but, but that's a good idea. We do. We're gonna the last um, physician that closed with us. We're gonna do a housewarming party for him. Invite all the neighbors, uh -oh. all their friends from work, and um, put it on. Have food catered, and um, hopefully that they'll get introduced to the neighborhood. They're from Michigan, so they don't know anybody. Yeah, and their kids don't know anybody. So we're really excited about that mm -hmm. one. But you might get a lot of people saying, hey, Doc. I this <laughs> yeah, here, uh, yeah hey, I, I can guarantee idea. you they're going to say that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's funny. So how long have you been like working that? So since you got into the business? Since I got into business, that was ago, definitely that was my focus. Yeah. Main focus? Yeah. And husband was a way to get it. He passed cards around and all that. He no, did. He was, he keeping, was great. Oh. Actually, my best sources. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. He That's really cool. did. He was awesome. Supportive. Yes. Very. Fantastic. He wanted me to make money. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, he always thought I should be in real estate. Really? really? I just loved, you know, he knew I loved doing it. And yeah. um, so he's been very great. All right. And then also, so outside of the physician world, yes. you also have helped some athletes. I have. My son, Mark Andrews, plays for the Baltimore Ravens. Tied um, in, right? Tied in, yes. Yeah, played at Oklahoma. Yes. And, <laughs> um, you know, honestly, it's it's what I know. So, once again, I've just gone through the draft, moving to a new city, um, helping him through that process. 
and um, at the same time I knew that that's something that people would appreciate that experience and um, you know it's a really it's a tough field and you never know they, they get a lot of money quickly and you know if they just need to rent whatever they need sure. I want to be that person um, for them I'm, I'm working with my son Charlie who um, is part of my team mm -hmm. and uh, you know he works really well with them and you know it's not a, a huge business for me now but it's it's a fun business and I really enjoy it I right. like helping them and uh, the agents are really supportive of me doing that sure absolutely it's awesome he was a big part of that team too the, I have to say the Sooners yeah well I think so absolutely <laughs> so I can so he went from Scottsdale to Oklahoma to now Baltimore Baltimore yep does he have like I mean, was that a big shock for him? Complete shock. I bet. <laughs> um, and, and honestly, he couldn't have gone to a better place. That team takes great care of their players. Um, a really first-class organization. Yeah. So as far away as it is, and it's hard for us, I'm really that happy is. for him. That's a long flight. Yeah, it is. You can go direct, though. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, five hours? Five hours. Something like that? Yeah. Wow. But he's all excited. Yeah, you've helped some, new season some athletes started. here, too, right? Pardon? You helped some athletes... Here? I have, I have, and um, you know what? It's it's. Uh, I feel like they're they're at Arizona Mom. Yeah, basically. Sure. My my sons become friends with them, and um, so it, it's worked out really well. Awesome! You get to help them with their cribs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have one for sale. Matter of fact. Oh, oh there we Josh's go. Josh's place. Okay. Oh, really? oh, really? At the Envy, yes, two bedroom. Wow. He, he mentioned it in his little um, talk when he said. Uh, his Instagram post where he said he was moving to Miami, mm -hmm. that he had a two-bedroom yeah, available. Right. It's the penthouse at the Envy. It's wow. available. What's he selling it for? 1.395. There we go. Yep. Jeff. It's gorgeous. There we go. I mean, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Call me. Me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. No, that's amazing. Um, you mentioned that the majority of your business is from referrals. Absolutely. 75% like of percent. our business is from referrals, for my whole team. Okay. Together. Um, referrals and repeat business. And So yeah. what do you attribute that to? Like what's... Paying attention to the people that um, that actually you're doing business with yeah. and that um, appreciating them. I think we talk about it probably at every single meeting, how to be really um, intentional about mm -hmm. our contacts with them I mean you don't have to have 3,000 people in your database if you've got 50 people that you know and you can work with and you get referrals from then then let's focus on those 50 people yeah absolutely I think Seth Godin says the same thing right that uh, you don't need a thousand you'd rather have a hundred that know you versus a thousand strangers absolutely so <laughs> no that's that's awesome what things do you do I guess to stay you mentioned a couple things but what, what do you do to stay in front of um, I, well, I, this past year, my idea was to, um, I wanted to be in front of them every single month. I wanted them to see something from me every single month. And to do that on a big scale was going to kind of be hard for me to do it personally. So, um, and I'm not a big, um, send out a canned newsletter or, mm -hmm. um, you know, a favorite a, recipe. A, yeah. Or an email that's already been written. I, okay. I'm not good at that because it won't get done to be honest so um you know i i send them a fruit of the month every every month and for a year wow. and so every month they're going to get something from me that says i appreciate them and i'm thinking about them and um that they're important to me right. and um it's small but I, every single month i can tell after it's been delivered i start getting phone calls oh, people saying awesome. i just love getting this and then that's a contact they're calling me i call them back and and it's the best use of money I've ever hmm. spent in my business. So. It, it's not the edible hmm. fruit, is I mean, the edibles that they send? No, this is actually Just like fruit Harry fruit. and David fruit of the month. Oh, so it's it. okay. pears or strawberries or whatever. Oh, and awesome. it's not that big a deal, but yeah. it's nice. That I means think. a lot, though, right? I like getting mine. Sure. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, it means a lot. I think, any, I think any small gift means a lot. Yeah, I agree. Just actually reaching out. Let yeah. people know that you appreciate them is the key. Hmm. All right. Any other things that you're doing, um, at, like CRM wise, or yeah, um, calling? 
I call often? people all the time. Um, I did something this year that was also different. It's okay. called 50 Coffee Dates in 50 Days. Mm. And it was a challenge. I started... Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we both said, hmm. hmm. Anyway. You can do on my next one. I'll invite you. <laughs> there we go. Um, that every, every day, every work day, that I would go and invite somebody, or they could ask to be one of the people, and we'd do a 30, 45-minute coffee date. Mm-hmm. Some of them yeah. were lunch dates, but I did it through January, very first of January through, um, I think we ended in March, middle of March, because I didn't do it the weekends, obviously. Right. And, you know, I touched 50 people. Some people I hadn't seen since our kids were in middle school. Wow. And I got referrals. I didn't ask for referrals. It was about getting in touch with the people I know and and really making a difference. Um, And it took 45 minutes to an hour a day. It was not difficult. And um, I, I kind of started it. Nobody really in our office has decided to do 50 dates in 50 days, but they've done 50 dates in a year. Sure. Um, you know, they're trying to do things like that. So uh, yeah. I think 50 it dates totally in 50 days was pretty ambitious. And mm-hmm. I didn't know how to post on Instagram, so I had to learn how to do that. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. You're an expert now. Was it, was it difficult to find no. people available? To, no, no, no. Okay. Um, and what was difficult is people were – I want to be date number this, you mm. know, or, um, you know, I, I'm It's almost like they were picking their They were spot. picking, I want to be in your top 20. Well, it doesn't That's matter if you're top 20 idea. or top 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've already done 20, so you're going to be 32, yeah, you know. Go. But, um, yeah, people absolutely reached out. Uh, <laughs> I put it on Instagram and Facebook, and um, everybody responded. And some people were, were work people that I hadn't really had the, the chance to visit with. Um, very few people I actually had to call and say, will you be one of my dates? Most people, once they heard what I was doing, reached out to me and said, I want to be one of your wow. dates. So I thought that was cool. That is really cool. So that's what you train your agents to do. I, I lead by example Yeah, is what I'd like to do. Um, like I said, nobody's done, done the 50 dates in 50 right, days. Right. They thought I was crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like coffee, so it wasn't there a problem for yeah. me. <laughs> so Monday through Friday, that'd be five, so yeah. 10 weeks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 If, and I took out. vacation in there, so there was a week I didn't do it. But yeah. Um, yeah, if I was working, I had a coffee date. That's great. Is there a specific things that you talked about or just how you doing catching up i mean if if they don't know i'm a realtor oh okay. they did know by the end of the coffee sure, um, i i certainly said if they had anybody i could help i would be glad to do that i got lots of referrals and that was really important um i've got people that i'm working with now because of it but that was not the goal the goal was to make sure i'm i'm reaching out to people i know right. and making connections and that's really what my whole business is about and with hiring the agents I hire, everything, it's about making the connection. Yeah, that's a great, great way to do it. Um, who is it? Simon Sinek, I think, says he has a book or something, Never Eat Alone. Oh, I haven't read that. He's got pretty good books, so. I think that was one of his. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, it's a great concept. <laughs> I mean, it's always take somebody, right? Right. Always take somebody with you to right. lunch or meet with somebody. Never yeah. waste that time. Um, no, but that's great. 50 dates in 50 days. Mm-hmm. Did you have guys call too? No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> I did, but not for a real date. No, I know. Coffee dates. I know. Coffee I know. dates. Mark would set them straight. <laughs> yeah, he would. And his brothers. <laughs> and his brothers. So 75% referral ba- business um, for the whole team, you said even. Yeah. Yeah. Our team really focuses on our database, and that's something about our team. The people that um, have chosen to be a part of the team mm-hmm. have been in business the, for the most part, I have a couple of new college graduates, but for the most part, they are doing a second or third career. Okay. So they understand the business model, and they just they probably could be single agents, sure. but they appreciate the collaboration of other people. So, um, and my team is not the typical. I'm the rainmaker. I provide the leads. I don't. I provide them coaching and mentoring. Mm-hmm. I'm available to them anytime they need something, and then we all work together. Mm. Got it. And so as a result, they're all very successful. I kind of, as I say, I like to teach them how to fish versus sure. providing them the fish. Got it. Was um, it difficult to teach them to, like w- what I find when I talk to some agents too, it, and I say, well, are you reaching out to your database? They're like, well, I have a database kind of spread in all these different areas, but I don't have it in one spot. And they feel like it's so much work to try to get it together. But It is. Did you, you just push them enough? That well, and... You know what? It doesn't really matter if you have one place you're putting them. 
as long as you have them and you're contacting them. So yes, we have a database that I provide for the team. It's mm-hmm. Brivity and um, it's very good. But you know, I'm working with usually business women who are in medical sales um, or managers of department stores or things like that. And they know how to reach out to people. And you know, right. they could they be better at having one place? Yes, yeah. but Keller Williams is going to provide that for us. They've spent a millions and millions on um, some new technology that's going to come around, mm-hmm. and I think it will be an easy way to do that. But for right now, I think for the most of us, we're we're um, kind of hit and miss. We yeah. can be better on it All for right. sure. All right. Before we move to the next segment, why don't um, what tip would you give an agent who either either is new to the business or maybe their business has slowed a bit? Like, what would okay. you tell them they should go do? Great question. If you're new to the business, you got to understand that this takes a lot of work. It is not something you can go in part time. Um, it requires seven days a week, your phone being available, doing some things that maybe are a little uncomfortable. So if you understand that, that's really important. Um, You know, I go back to my database. If you're not touching the people that know you, if you're a secret agent, nobody knows that you have your real estate license, you are not going to succeed in this world. It's just not Mm -hmm. possible. Um, Because I think NAR says um, that 65% of the people really have most of their business from referrals. So if that's the case, I'm at 75%. If you're not touching those people, you're not going to make it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you can only go so far with internet leads and calling on the phone and yeah. In my opinion. Yep. No. Agreed. For sure. Are you ready to get in the ring? Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. What's the best advice that anyone's ever given you? Turn my phone off it's when not. I go home. Right. Now I haven't been able to do that yet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> but I've gotten a lot better, and it's true. It can consume your life. Yeah. Hmm. Absolutely. Favorite mobile app? Since you're on your phone all the time? Yes. No. <laughs> uh, well, if it's not Flex MLS, which I'm on all the time, it mm-hmm. would have to be house.com. H O U Z Z. Have oh, you ever been on right. that? It's I a great not, app. Uh, I use it all the time. What is it? So, what does it do? It's an interior design. Like, builders okay. post on there pictures of their homes and then they put price tags on things. So, as we're walking in these gorgeous homes I, and they say, well, I can, I can imagine it doing this, and I could just pull it up on my phone. And it's right there, and it tells how much it costs. And uh, it's a really mm. great app. I use it every day. Really? Mm-hmm. Like what's an exa- so? If they like, give me an example, I guess, of what. Okay, like today, like I was in a house, or like a change to the actual structure. Change to the structure, or, um, or a dec- decorative piece, okay. like so above the um, range. This one house, it's a new build, and it has this blank kind of wood. I, I can't believe they're not going to change this, but this wood thing above it, and okay. it's really boring. And mm. and the the clients like I just don't see the purpose of that. Or I immediately pull up eight different options of the very similar kitchen, not the new style kitchen, and different things you could do up there that were yeah. really inexpensive, and they at least could visualize it because that's oh. that's where um, people have the hardest time is that visualization of a change. They yeah. think it costs more than it does, mm-hmm. and they just don't see it. Got it. No, that's cool. That yeah. is cool. That is huh. cool. How about a book recommendation? Mm. Um, okay. Never Split the Difference by Chris Voss. No. Have you heard of that? Never Split I've the Difference. I've heard of that one. Somebody mentioned it, I think, a long time ago. But I haven't he's read a, it. He's an ex-FBI hostage negotiator. Oh, yeah. So along the line of trying to be the best I can be for my clients is to get to be a better negotiator. I'm not you know, cutthroat. Um, I'm pretty nice. And um, I hate people not to be happy. <laughs> so uh, I've learned a lot, and I've taken some negotiation classes. So I thought this went really well with it. Mm. And it, and he's so smart, and these, you know, how to ask the open-ended questions and repeat what people are saying. I learned a lot. I mean, I watch. Don't get me wrong. I watch that sell new york or you know frederick whatever that guy oh, is yeah. million dollar listing he's taught me a lot too about negotiating yeah really? <laughs> but that book is really good huh. all right <laughs> <Get down>. all <laughs> right <laughs> million dollar listing yeah right? that's so, it that's it all right. all right how about one productivity tool or software that you use on a regular basis gosh can i say my google calendar you can <laughs> it's a great app absolutely you can i can't live without that 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, and, and Keller sane. Williams is big about, you know, definitely um, planning your day, when you're spending lead generation, when you're with your clients, all that. I'm, I'm getting better at it, but um, I used to be able to just run my life without having a calendar. I can't do that anymore. And to me, it's, it um, makes me more intentional. And so absolutely, it's very productive no, for me. I love that. All right, final question. We'll have you draw Oh, my gosh, here. I love the mask. This is beautiful. <laughs> what is that, velvet? Please don't make it hard. Please don't make it hard. No, be, we can, no you can read I it. I can read it? Yeah. You can read my chicken scratch anyway. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Oh, my gosh, I hate to travel. Oh, oh. you want a different question? <laughs> Give her a different one. A different one. I get a gift. Can I have a you want a different one? one? Yeah. yeah. You can have a different one. I don't like to go. I, I mean, we'd have to go in the world, and I, I mean. There are people who don't like to travel, Jeff. Yes. I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> wow. Favorite sport and favorite oh. sports team. Oh, Uh-oh. that's too easy. <laughs> I dare you to well, pick a different than No, football. I'm not no. going to. I love football. I didn't used to. I do. I have a love for football. Um, I didn't like college football. I didn't understand it. I love college football, and I, my my favorite college team, of course, is the Sooners. Yes. And my favorite pro team are the Ravens. Yeah. <laughs> That's easy, right? It is really So easy. before Mark started playing, yes. Cowboys. 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 Yeah, but they didn't pick Mark. Yeah. So now you're mad. <laughs> I am. Forget those Cowboys. <laughs> Take them down. I do like the Cowboys, but yeah, I don't like them anymore. Not a Cardinals fan? Um, you know, I, mean, I do watch the Cardinals, and I love because. Kind of sad, huh? Well, no, that's <laughs> not. It's not sad. I think they have a lot of potential. I'm excited for them. Yes, I'm excited. Have, every year they say they have a lot of potential. This time they really <laughs> they do. They really do, and they I really, really like do. the coach, the new coach. Um, you know, we played against him in um, in college, and he was an outstanding coach. And the new right. quarterback, I have a, a great fondness for. Played mm-hmm. for Oklahoma, and yeah. uh, so it's yeah. going to be all good. Well, good. Yes. yes. I tell you what, those Midwestern. Or they get into their football. Yeah, they do. Texas up to Oklahoma <laughs> and to Missouri and Nebraska. There's yeah. not much else to do there. That's right. That's right. Um, we have some friends in a, gosh, where is it? It's around like Midland, Texas. I was Odessa. born in Midland. Oh, were you? My husband actually, okay. Friday Night Lights, he played football at that co- that high school. Oh, really? really? Mm-hmm. That's a great All show. Right. Yeah, it was they, a great like, show. They closed down their businesses a little bit early to go oh, on Friday. Oh, that's so games. true. Yeah. 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 Really. Anyway. Well, thank you so much for being here. Well, yes. thank you for having me. This what a been... pleasure. It wasn't so hard. No. <laughs> no. You no. were nice. Thank you no, all. we're nice <laughs> I everybody. appreciate it. We're nice to everybody. <laughs> and thanks again to Jackie for bringing you. Yes, thank Jackie. You. Appreciate it. All right, agents. Until next time, we will talk to you later. See, See you ya. later. Great job. Great job. See you next